Find the 3D asset you want in the Echo 3D console and download it, ideally as an FBX, but if not, another format is okay. You just have to convert it. So first things first, you're gonna go and import your new asset. Here we have the fox. Let's drag it into the hierarchy, see what it looks like. Uh-oh, missing its color. So it imported a couple things. This is the material. As you can see, there's something wrong. Um, sometimes you can go through here and try to remap it, but um, I think it's just easier sometimes to create a new material, which is, um, this is how you do it. You just go to create material. I think we should make it a red fox. Those look cool. So go ahead and pick the color, like a reddish brown fox. And because it's not a shiny fox, we're gonna bring down the smoothness, make it a little bit more matte. Might have a little shine because it's like got fur and stuff. So um, let's just keep it like that. And then we're gonna click on this and drag the new material here to element zero. And there we go. We have a beautiful red fox. So it turns out that uh, Unity actually has an FBX exporter built into the package manager. If you were to go on the uh, asset store in Unity, it's about a hundred bucks. Um, I'm sure this has more capabilities, but for what we need it for, we have it right at our fingertips in Unity. So if you just go to your package manager, depending on the version of Unity that you have, it might look a little different than this. I'm a little old school this way with 2019 but all you have to do is click on all versions. Mm. If you get an error, uh, which I had earlier, um, just uninstall it and then install an earlier version of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the oldest version of it and give that a second to do what it needs to do. <clears throat> awesome, great. So um, yeah, now that that game object has been updated, we're going to go over here, um, make sure that this particular um, object, which looks like it's a prefab in this case, is updated. So as long as apply all is grayed out, that means the changes have been applied. So all we have to do next is go up to assets. Uh, I'm sorry, not assets. We're going to game object and export to FBX. And here, all this is pretty much going to be filled out for you. And you can see with this version of um, models, it includes models and animation, so you should be good to go. And then all you have to do is export. Oh, make sure you change the name. You should keep a backup of your old one because you want to make sure that if something goes wrong, it doesn't get rid of it entirely and you don't have to start the process all over again. Oh, I created a number three also, uh, number two also. So I'm going to do a number three. Lucky three, baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. I just pulled it up in my... Um, my assets folder and we called it three and then if I open it with 3d viewer you can see that the color stuck it actually looks kind of cool um, and that's how you can swap out the materials of a 3d object that doesn't quite look right or is just missing its skin entirely